Hi, this is Megan, Information Services Librarian, back again with another book review for you. Um, last time I did kind of a lighter books. This one, A Woman is No Man by Atoff Rum. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's more, more serious and grim. <laughs> Uh, but I did like it. Uh, it's um, it's a first novel, um, and it's I think it's probably semi autobiographical. It's about um, Palestinian women, several generations living in New York City, in Brooklyn, and it's I initially read it for a non library book group, uh, and we all liked it. It was very interesting. We had a good discussion about it. Uh, so the main character is 17, it starts with 17 year old Isra or Isra. Um, it's 1990 and she is, lives in Palestine. She has an arranged marriage with a guy she doesn't know. So she moves to Brooklyn, she gets married, goodbye Palestine, moves to Brooklyn and lives with this man and his family, this man Adam and his family. Mother-in-law, of course, overbearing, and there's pressure for her to have a son. So, of course, Isra has four daughters. <laughs> Not good. Um, the mother-in-law, Farida, who's uh, seen a lot of hardship in her life, lived in a refugee camp for a long time. Uh, she's, she's overbearing. Um, she's a very difficult person. Adam, the husband, is abusive toward Isra. The story fast forward to 2008 and Isra's daughter, um, Dea, is dealing with the family trying to arrange a marriage for her. Dea has grown, lived her entire life in Brooklyn. Um, we found that Isra and Adam died in a car accident when Dea was eight. Dea just wants to go to college. Grandmother Farida wants her to get married. Um, and then Dea kind of explores, uh, you know, what were her parents like? What really happened to them? Uh, what was her mother like? Uh, and uh, find some shocking family truths. <laughs> uh, she also uh, develops a relationship with the estranged uh, sister-in-law, which was Adam's sister. So it would be Dea's aunt. Um, and it's a very good book. It's a good book about the position of women in society in Palestinian family and culture. Um, not so much in American society. The contrast is very good between Palestinian families and American families. Um, and I liked it. I thought it was really interesting, educational. Um, I learned a lot. So give it a try.